Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review today. I'm here to tell you all about the latest from Atavist, Third Absolution, out June 19th on Candlelight Records. This album has four tracks, 58 minutes in length, and this is the band's third full-length studio album. Atavist is back, and they're back with a powerful record that, in my opinion, at its core is an atmospheric doom metal record. They stripped away a little bit of that sludge metal uh, sound that they had in previous albums. They replaced it with cellos and violins and these incredible synthesizer soundscapes that create so so much atmosphere that adds texture, feel, uh, emotion. It, it just expands on the overall presence that the sound on this record has. Absolutely magnificent. I really enjoyed that, that, that different side or that different approach, if you will, uh, of the band on this record. When you start looking deeper into the album, I feel like the first pit stop is the structure and overall sound. While these two elements at times feel like they're driving in different cars or they're in different lanes, uh, to me there is a, an interconnection between the two. And from that perspective, the album offers me two different, two different lines of thought. The first is that the album feels like a pyramid. The way it's structured and the way that structure interacts with the sound on the tracks starts off feeling a lot more melancholic. It's dark, but a lot more melancholic. Uh, the two middle tracks really are the top of the pyramid. Uh, they have a lot more aggression. The darkness is definitely all the way to 11. Uh, it feels a lot more aggressive, a lot more brutal. There's a lot more anger, uh, a lot more pain, if you will, built into those two tracks. And then the last song, you see that intensity, that aggression really dip back into a more melancholic approach and you start to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Something that was not there on any other song up until that point. But with the last track on the album, which is Absolution, you start to really feel uh, a little bit more brightness coming into the music. Uh, the, the, the heartbeat is not as fast on that track. You, you start to feel like things are starting to slow down a little bit. And, and there's definitely brightness in the air. The sun is definitely shining onto that song, more so than any other track on the album. So there's this pyramid feel to the way the structure and sound interact with each other on the record. At the same time, the album offers growth, exponential growth from track to track. And I don't mean that as in, in terms of each song uh, leaning something into the next track and the next track picking up on that, expanding it and then moving into the next song. That's not what I mean. Uh, the growth that I felt with this record was an emotional growth from the first song to the last song. This album is a very introspective journey. And like any other journey, there is growth and there is learning. So I feel like this album really represents that, represents learning and growth uh, on an emotional level, but also on a personal level, uh, as far as the band members and the overall band and what they've done through the years is concerned. And to me, all of that is represented in how the album is put together from a structural perspective and then in how it sounds and how it has these two different momentums, that pyramid uh, overall feel to it, but also this emotional growth that gives you this sense of moving all the way up, the intensity picking up with every single track. Now, when you go even deeper into the record, beyond the structure and the overall sound, when you start to look at the other elements that create that structure, that create that sound, uh, the first step uh, has to be towards the cellos and the violins. Absolutely beautiful. I was taken back by how haunting their sound was. Anytime they came onto a track, you just felt like you were levitating. It, it, they, they add melancholy, they add brightness, they add light, and at the same time, the ability to bring a lot of darkness to the forefront. Absolutely phenomenal the way they were used and not abused because it was not like you were getting them on every single song at every single turn. Very sporadic here and there, uh, precision point in terms of where they wanted them to be in order to really enhance that growth, that, that emotional growth that I mentioned earlier uh, that this album has. The next is something that I mentioned before, which is the synthesizer and, and the uh, atmosphere that those soundscapes brings to the record. To me, they were magnificent. They really allowed the band to expand beyond the walls of the genre. It really allowed them to go way beyond that, be creative, create songs that really uh, break the walls, that have no barriers whatsoever, that can go anywhere you want them to go. They, they really serve no master. To me, that's the main goal of those synthesizers and the atmosphere that they bring to the tracks really breaking down everything, expanding on the sound, and all you can see is the horizon. 
I love it. I love what they brought to the record. I love what they brought to the songs. And it was it was extremely well done, extremely well put together, really enhancing the flavor that the album has and the flavor that the songs have. Last but not least, we have to talk about the vocals. They were very dark, but not necessarily linear in its darkness across every single song. I felt even the vocals had a little of an emotional touch to it. They, they stay within their parameters. It's not like you're gonna get clean vocals, harsh vocals, uh, gutturals. It, it, that's not what's gonna happen on the record. They have, there, there is a sense of, of being straightforward in their approach, but as far as the emotion that they carry, as far as the darkness that belongs to that style, to that, that, to that specific way uh, of attacking the lyrics and attacking the vocals on this album, I felt that there was growth from the first to the last song. You really feel the emotion that the tracks carry the vocals do the same thing. They really enhance that overall vibe that you get from every single song. When, when the track is a lot more melancholic, when it's a lot more introspective, the vocals, while still staying uh, with with its uh, with the, with their approach, with their straightforward approach, they feel like they carry that emotion in that said approach. When the songs become a lot more intense, a lot more aggressive, uh, a lot more brutal, if you will you feel also that the vocals carry that in the way they come across, in the way in the way the lyrics come across. They paint a, a much more vivid picture in the way they embrace everything around it. So you cannot talk about this record for as good as, as the music, as the overall sound is on this album. You cannot talk about this record without mentioning the vocals because they play a very important role. They are the outlet for the emotions that are built in into the music on each and every single song. So they are the megaphone that allows that emotion to become more noticeable, to become more palpable on every single track. Overall, this is a very interesting record, one that needs to be digested, not just consumed. This is not a record that you can just listen to it uh, as you're going for a jog. This, this album deserves your full attention and cooperation. You need to sit down and really take it all in. Because like I said, it is a journey. It's an emotional journey. You need to be part of that journey. You need to understand it. You need to become, you need to become it. And in order to do so, you have to give it your full undivided attention because if you do that, you're gonna discover one of those incredible records that will stay with you for the rest of your life. It's magnificently done, this album. Now, as far as songs are concerned, I wanna start off with the first track, Loss. Really melancholic, atmospheric opening to this song. Uh, the, the strings, when they come in, they're so haunting, they're so beautiful, and still have that darkness to it. Perfect transition to the more aggressive side of the track. This is a song that re really builds up. You really feel like there's a crescendo to it, the same way the album has. This song has built in within its own sound and within its own uh, structure. The, bro the vocals, in my opinion, once they come in, they break that veil of melancholy that the, that the song has up until that point. E eventually, the track returns to its starting point, returns to that more melancholic side, and this really becomes a song uh, that is a roller coaster ride, that has those ups and downs. Uh, it has the more melancholic, dark, somber feel to it, and then it has the more aggressive, the more intensive uh, aspect uh, as well. So it, it's a song that really has this up and down, these ebbs and flows, and, and it keeps the dynamic of the song pushing forward is a song that really feels like it's it's moving you along because when you start to feel things slowing down something happens the energy picks up the intensity picks up the aggression picks up and you feel like you're taken up to the next step uh, on your journey uh, as you progress through the record and as you progress through this song so i really like the fact that this is a song that's made up of two different momentums two different sides really a jackal and hyde kind of track but it has great transitions between them. So you don't feel like it's abrupt. You don't feel like it's uh, one is cutting into the other. Y you, you almost feel like it's a, an inner struggle. You have the demon and the angel, one on each of your shoulders, and it's almost like a, a, an inner conversation with those two sides of your own personality. That, that That's exactly how this song is put together. That's how this song feels. Uh, when you're going through a difficult time, sometimes you don't know which side you need to listen to. You try to reason uh, why you are in the place that you are, and at the same time, you feel so much despair that you don't longer want to be there, and you don't feel like there's nothing to be learned. This song has the, that duality to it, and it makes the track really interesting. 
Next struggle, a much heavier track. This is the second track uh, on the album. This is when you start to feel like that peak of that pyramid. It's a lot more intense, a lot more aggressive, uh, a song that has a lot more pain and suffering built in into the emotional baggage of the track. Uh, the emotional uh, charge is really there, but you start to feel like these other feelings are coming to the forefront. This, the song starts to become uh, a lot more uh, a bigger as far as the sound is concerned, definitely darker, but more driven at the same time. I really like the vocals on this track. The vocals really uh, meet the music uh, together in order to create this really large wall of sound that comes at you that just feels absolutely relentless at times, uh, really brutal, really uh, kicking you and, and, and dragging you down. It just has a lot of strength to it. Definitely a less atmospheric song, uh, a more dark, doomy uh, track, but it doesn't have that same atmosphere that you got with Loss. It, it really, that atmosphere, that air comes out of the balloon. It really dissipates from this track. It becomes a more raw, a more driven song, uh, a song that has a lot more power built in into it. Last but not least, Absolution. This is the closing track on the, on the record. And with this song, we see that atmosphere coming back. And with that atmosphere comes a little bit of that melancholy, even though that this track also has a lot of brightness, has a lot of light into it. I really like the opening of this song, that synthesizer atmospheric sound uh, that they created for this record is absolutely phenomenal. And on this track, that's how it opens. And it's really extended. It, you almost feel like you're walking through a field and the only thing hitting you in the face is the wind, the breeze hitting you. you. You get that sense of finally getting to that light at the end of the tunnel, finally coming to the end of that journey, uh, and you've learned something, you're at a better place. This song musically and atmospherically really puts you into that mindset, and I love the way this song sounds and the way it's put together. It has that sense of a change in seasons uh, with when something dies, there's a new beginning. So this song kind of offers that new beginning even though it's the last song on the album i really like how it's uh, uh how it's put together it, it has such a great uh, dynamic it, it has such great dynamic mechanisms built in into the track that still offers you a little bit of that up and down is a song that still has those those dualities of of the more melancholic more stripped down and then the more aggressive but on the more aggressive side is never uh, it's never in your face aggression it's just the vocals change the vocals add a little bit more intensity they add a little bit of more volume but you never feel musically like this is a song that's about to erupt you always feel like this is a song that has everything under control it's about to close off the record and it has that that it has that emotional control um uh, under their thumb so you know exactly where you what are you going to get from the song it's never going to be a song that's going to surprise you at any given turn and, and have an outburst it's just a very controlled still has those peaks and valleys it still offers you like i said that duality but it's a song that it's never about uh, to completely lose track of itself. It's it's very uh, aware of its presence, it's very aware of where it is in the record, where it fits, and what's the message that needs to deliver. And perhaps one of the more atmospheric, in my opinion, it is the most atmospheric track on the record, and it's the perfect closing. You really feel like you're coming full circle with this song, because as the album starts, this song ends so the, the the way this record is created is absolutely phenomenal the structure the sound how they interact with each other and this song in my opinion is it's really the culmination of that journey that it is the listening experience of this album all right guys this is it. this is it this is atavist with third absolution once again out june 19th on candlelight records let me know your thoughts on the band use the comment section below i'll be reading those and getting back to you take care guys